Hi guys, so today I will be recording or filming a collective map haul for you guys. Um, this is stuff that I bought during my birthday and then Valentine's Day, but I haven't really had a chance to use everything just because it's been in bags and I just got my um, acrylic case for my makeup. So I want to go ahead and just get this haul done so I can put everything up because it's giving me anxiety looking at all these bags. But um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with the haul. Uh, first, I'm going to start with the, all the lipsticks and I will be doing swatches and then if I find that I missed anything or I find anything else in my room that I missed I will take a picture of them and then put it at the end of the video and then I'll have everything linked below of everything that I got and all the colors um yeah okay so the first lipstick oh the first lipstick that I have is Lady Danger and it is a matte finish and I'm gonna try and swap well I have a lot of lipsticks so I'm gonna try and fit all of them on my hand if I can but this one is like a orangey red I was looking for let's see, like that I was looking for a orange colored lipstick that was matte and I didn't want them orange because it's not matte and I didn't want to look crazy so here is a swatch of that one I know the lighting probably changed it, but yeah, sorry about that. So there's that one. Um, I don't know, I think it is really pretty. And then there is, sorry, my computer just like did whatever. And then there is the Fresh Brew and this is a luster finish. This is the one I had on in my introduction video if you watch that video. Um, this is the lipstick I had on. It is pretty sheer on my hand. You'll probably see how you can barely see it. Um, but once you put it on your lips it does give you like a taupey brown gray color on your lips but it's really pretty it's a pretty everyday something you could wear to work or school or whatever and then it does have that glossy finish so it is really pretty um some of this stuff i believe everything that i do have is either from macy's or dillard's because i never go to the pro store because it's too far from my house and i don't have time so the next lipstick I will be showing you is Brave and it is a satin finish. So it's kind of like a pretty pink nude with like a little bit of spark, well, a little bit of sparkles I guess in it. Um, I thought it was really pretty and I really don't, it's that one right there. Um, I really don't wear pink lipstick, but if I do, it has to be like a nudie pink for me to wear it because I don't want to look crazy like the Saint Germain and the... There's another pink one that I'm just like... No, <laughs> I'm not about that life. And then the next one that I have to show you guys is Twig. And this one is a really popular one. And it is a satin finish also. Was Brave? I think Brave was a satin finish. I can't remember. And it looks like that. A lot of these I, have, I haven't worn Twig yet. So there's that one. And it looks like it's more of a mauve pink. I think it's that one right there. It's really pretty though. And it's another everyday color. And if you guys haven't noticed, I do wear a lot of, I try to get a lot of nudes and like mauve colors cause that's just my thing. I don't know. And then for the more colorful ones, I just have to be in the mood, I guess. 
like the one I'm about to show you. This one is Relentlessly Red and it is a retro matte. Now, I will tell you with the retro mask with the Ruby Woo, you do need to, well, I personally like to prime my lips and um, my friend, she has the Prep and Prime Skin Smoother by MAC and you can also put it on your lips and it will make your retro matte stay even longer um, because mine tend to start to break apart on my lips and it's really weird and really irritating but that um prep and prime skin smoother or whatever that will help the lipstick stay on your lips so i need to go get that like today and then here is relentlessly red it's like it's not even red it's like watermelon that's what it reminds me of i was going to take this one back because i had i bought the dynamo lip liner with it and no them two together it just wasn't it just wasn't right so I returned it but I decided to go ahead and keep this one and I will swatch it for you guys it is really pretty like for summertime it's that one right there so I think it's a really pretty color for a summertime. You just have to work with it. I think I am going to have to put a liner with it, but I haven't found one that's going to look cute yet. But I'm sure I'll be in MAC this week because I need to go to the mall. But yeah. Um, and the next one I'm going to show you is another retro matte and it is another popular one. It is flat out fabulous. This is more of a fuchsia color, I guess. Um, see, I'm already running out of room. This is ridiculous. We just need to pray that I just don't go to MAC and buy anything else because baby... I just, when it comes to MAC, I'm just so impulsive and I just can't help it. I just love that store so much. Even though I work, work at Sephora, I love me some MAC. They're just so affordable. All these lipsticks are like $15 each. I know you're like, girl, $15? Yes, girl, $15, okay? But anyways, here is um, Flat Out Fabulous and it is Retro Matte again, like I said. So it's that one right there. So that one's really pretty. It is really pretty for summertime, but I think this one is more, you can wear it summertime, fall, whatever, however you're feeling that day. Um, my next one is going to be another popular one and it's Velvet Teddy and it is a matte finish. And as you can see, I did use this one. I thought this one was going to be like a nude brown. But once you, when you put it on, it's like a pinky brown color, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. And I do like to wear a liner with this one just to make, if I want to make it look darker or more pink or more brown, you can wear a liner with it. And it is that one right there on top if you can see that one um yeah so it's that one sorry i'm trying to oh, i'll just keep my watch on sorry okay look at this look at iris okay anyways and then i have two more this one is taupe and it is also a matte um I'll just swatch it right here and then you guys can see it right there it's another nude and it's that one right there if you guys are wondering like where I get or how I figure out which lipsticks I want I personally would say you should Instagram everything just hashtag it and find it so you can see how it looks on other people that are your skin tone um, because when I go to MAC, I don't have time to try on everything and wipe my lips off. That's like, you know, 
too much and then your lips start to turn red and you know who has time for that I don't so I just go in and get what I want I try to go in because they are busy usually at max so I try to go in and let them know what I want so I can get in and get out and it's very helpful for them if you already know what you want um I do tend to try on well not try on but swatch them on my hand and usually if they look right on my hand I usually like them in person um now for the lip liners I would say that you want to try those on well no I would say you do want to swatch all your lip liners because they do look different on every skin tone if and if you have a darker darker lips like I do like my top lip is darker than my bottom lip I would say you want to swatch those and if you can just try it on a little bit um because it makes a difference to me and you don't want to buy a lip liner that's the same color as your lips because it's not gonna make a difference unless you know that's what you want to do but anyways and my last lipstick is faux and it is a satin finish uh, I'll put it right there like right on my knuckles this one I got from my friend because when we were in Atlanta for our birthday she had this one and I just randomly took it out of her makeup bag and tried it on and I'm like oh yes girl I am loving this it is a lighter pink so you don't want to put too much on because you don't want to look you know you don't want to be that girl that you know has those lips y'all know what I'm talking about those lips okay so um yeah you don't want to look like that and you can pair this one with a liner if you think it's too bright for you but it is a really pretty color and it is that one right there so yeah that one's really pretty too i actually really love that one and i used to only be want to wear like a matte um lipstick just because I like matte but now I'm more into trying the lusters and the satin finishes something with a little bit of gloss that looks more um, natural I just think they kind of look like more sexy like if you would um, yeah so those were all the lipsticks I had to show you I told you guys it was gonna be a lot of them so and I'll make sure I link them below so you can see those okay Okay, now I'm going to move on to uh, lip liners since we're in the lip section. And let me go ahead and show you the two lip glosses that I did get because I forgot those in the lipstick part. Um, one of them is the little go size ones that you can order online. I believe they also have them in store. I'm not sure, but I ordered these online and this one is see-through. Um, so it's kind of just like, I actually don't know how I feel about this because it's a little bit too nude for me, especially for my skin tone. It's a little bit too nude and I don't want to look like, you know, I don't want to look like that. Um, with that on my lips, so I might just have to put this over maybe a nude lipstick if I want to make it into a something shiny I don't know I'm gonna try and work with it cuz I'm just gonna try and work with it and then the other one that I have is a plush glass in ample pink and I do have this one on right now um, let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys it's like a like a mauve pink it doesn't have it, it is a plush glass so it is supposed to um, plump your lips up I guess even though I don't really need that but a girl that I watch on YouTube uses it so I went ahead and tried it because I never tried their lip glasses um, I do like their dazzle glass um, I forget what it's called but my friend had it too so I do like that one but I do have this one on right now if you were wondering what was on my lips I have that one on and the okay now we're gonna get into these lip pencils and I um I will say that lip pencils do 
change your lipstick drastically so I would say you do want to invest in some of those because you can also wear those as just all over your lip as a matte lipstick if you like um, let's go ahead and get into these the first one that I have is cork and it looks like that if you guys can see that as you can see I used it obviously um, this one is more it's a brown, but it's not like, how can I explain it? I don't know, but it's pretty. So it's that one right there. It's really, it's like a true brown, I want to say. It reminds me of like, I know it's weird, but it reminds me of like a milk chocolate brown. And this one, I could wear all over my lips, but I feel like it's a little bit too close to my skin tone and I don't want my lips to be like, yeah. Um, the next one that I have, and the, these are all the regular lip pencils. I only have one of the Pro Long Red pencils. So, the next pencil that I do have is Spice. And it's that one. And then, again, it is another nude mauve color that I like but it's more towards the brown side than it is pink like world that I'll be showing you and sore which is life okay like everybody can wear um sore or sorry um uh, spice so that is that one and then I will be showing you sore of course this is the Kylie Jenner you know uh lip phase or fad or whatever you want to call it i do love me some kylie jenner okay so i went ahead and got sore and there's that one now sometimes some of these if you go to a mac store or a counter that's in like dillard's or macy sometimes they don't have these in stock just because you know it is a fat that everybody's going through and it's highly requested and sometimes they don't even have it online um i do believe these are all regular um lip pencils you don't need to go to a pro store um the three that i did they they do look the same but on your lips they give you a different look if you want your lipstick to come out lighter or darker or anything like that so i know the last three that i did show you are comparable but they're nice and I like them. Now this one is Stone. This one I did have to order online because they didn't have it at the Mac store that I went to. They didn't have it. Um, it is a pro. I think this one you have to get at a pro store or you have to get it online because they don't carry it at the counters. Um, yeah. So this one is Stone. It's like a, I don't know, it's that one of course. It's stone, so it looks, it's like a brown, gray kind of color. It's really pretty though, really pretty. And I wear this one with my styled in Sapia, I think that's what it's called. That one is, but that lipstick is only, it was limited edition, it was in their little matte collection of lipsticks so yeah you can't get that one anymore but that's what i wear that one with or you can also wear it by itself it looks really pretty too i believe i can also wear it with taupe and velvet teddy sorry i was trying to look and see which ones i had taupe and velvet teddy if you don't want them to be so pink you could turn them more into a nude color and then I have this one. I have not worn this one yet. It's high energy. And this is a Pro Longwear lip pencil. Oh, let me show you guys. See? And I bought this one to go with the Lady Danger. Um, it is really pretty on my hand. But when I swatch it with next to Lady Danger, it kind of looks lighter than lady danger which is the problem i had with the rent loop relentlessly red the dynamo was too light it was lighter than the relentlessly red so i went ahead and took it back but i don't know this one i might be able to make it work i don't know 
Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to face products, I guess. That's what you wanna call it, I don't know. And then I have one eye um, liner that I'm gonna show you guys right now before I get into the face product. I don't know what you wanna call it. And before I get into like the blushes and skin finish and all that. So the eye pencil that I have is Costa Riche, and it is, I believe it's just a regular eye cold pencil by MAC. It is so pretty. And it's that one right there. Um, I do have it on right now. If you, just on my waterline. Um, it's more of like, when I swatch it, it looks really brown, but when I put it on my eyes, it comes out as like a like a reddish brown kind of like a tint of red in it i guess that's what you want to say i don't know but it is really pretty i would say if you're gonna get a pencil i would say go ahead and get the Costa reach it is beautiful and i think it'll look good on everybody and then the next thing that i have is a eyeshadow and it is the infamous brown script it is on the packaging it says matte to eyeshadow so i guess that means it's extra extra matte hella matte i guess i don't know but it looks like this so it's more of like a red brown and I also have it on today um, to try and smoke out the eyeliner just a little bit. And then I'll try to swatch it for you guys if I can. Or you can see how it looks on my finger. Um, I'm trying to swatch it, sorry. So you guys can just... It's that one right there. It's kind of like a... It's like red and orange at the same time, but also, brown. I don't know, it's just so pretty, oh my God. And it looks so good with the Costa Riche if you wanna smoke it out. That's up to you. I don't know, but let me tell you something. I'm running out of breath recording this video. I paused it like, I don't know how many times. <sighs> my life as a beauty blogger, okay? And I'm running out of breath already. All right, so, yeah. I'm gonna move on to blushes. I only have two blushes by MAC. Um, first one that I have, it is a sheer tone blush and it is called Peaches. Show you guys. I don't think I'm gonna swatch these because, well, I don't think they come out on my hand as well as they would if I were to put it on my face. So I'll just try and like show it on my fingers. But here's Peaches. And it looks a little light on camera, but when you put it, it is a sheer tone blush. So it's not gonna be anything crazy. And it's on this finger right there. Um, it just gives you that hint of color, like a flushed look kind of. Yeah, like a flush look, like your cheeks just have a little bit of color. It's nothing crazy. It is really pretty for summertime. And every day, if you work somewhere that you can't wear too much makeup or anything like that, I would go with the Peaches by MAC, and it is sheer tone again. And then the next one that I have is just a regular powder blush, and it is called Raisin. And this one's so pretty, oh my god. It's that one. And it is, um, to me, it looks like brown script, but in a blush form, I guess. It is really pretty. I know it seems like it may come out a bit dark on me, but I would have to say just when you put it on, do it lightly. See how dark it is, but it's so pretty. And that's how it would look. It's that one right there. Um, I don't know. You can also use this one as, well, I guess you can use it as a bronzer if you want, but I don't know. I'll have to try it out first. I'm going to use it as a blush. I didn't put it on today 
you know, I just want to keep a clean face, I guess. Um, but I will, I guess I could. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a mineralized skin finish in medium deep. And I'm not a big fan of Max new packaging. It, their packaging used to be thinner and it used to have like a mirror, well not a mirror, a little piece of plastic I guess right there so you can see it. I'm not a big fan of this packaging but I mean if that's how they felt they wanted to change the packaging but it, oh look you can see me in the mirror. But here is that skin finish in medium deep and I just use this to... Well, I'm not gonna swatch it, but it's that one right there. I just use this one to set my makeup. This is really pretty by itself, also. So it's good for summertime because it's going to get hot, and you know, some people don't want to put on a full face of makeup. So you can go ahead and get you a skin finish. They range. They have a wide range of colors. So yeah. That is the skin finish. And now I'm going to show you just the mineralized skin finish. The other one was, wait, what is this one? I, well, I guess they call both of them mineralized skin finish, but this is more so of a highlighter and I do have it on right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> But I do have it on right now. I have it on right here. If you can see, it looks like I have it on under my brow, but I don't. So that is what it looks like. And I also have it on down my nose. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like. And this is the one in Global Glow. So there's that one. And then here's what it looks like. I think I can swatch this one. Oh, that was a good one. And it's right there you like a nice sheen color it's not too gold but not too silver and it doesn't make me look ashy either so if you are my um, complexion I would say to go ahead and go with the global glow and also another good one is the gold deposit it's way deeper it's a deeper gold than this one is but it's really pretty I think I'm gonna go get that one next Hopefully not anytime soon because I really don't need to go back to MAC, but okay. I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? So that was Global Glow, and I um, only have one more thing to show you, and that would be... Sorry if I, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, and I'm looking up at you guys at the same time to make sure you know. I'm still on fleek, all right? So the next thing I have to show you, which is what I was talking about before, is a setting spray. And this is the little travel size. I didn't want to buy a big one yet because I didn't know. This one is the Fix Plus Finishing Spray by MAC. Um, if you don't know what a finishing spray is, it's exactly what the name says it is. Once you get done with all your makeup, you just spray it on and it sets your makeup. Um, one because I really do like this finishing spray and you can also use it to um, on your eyeshadows so if you want the color to be more intense I um, yeah so that is everything for my um, collective MAC haul again I did not buy all this stuff at one time I you know impulsively bought it within like three two or three trips and then some stuff was a gift or whatever and if you guys are wondering in mac i am an nc44 and i wear the studio fix fluid i do have it on right now um let me show you guys what it... sorry my bottle gets like i think i need a new one Let's see. And I know it looks a little light on my hand, but when I put it on, it looks perfect. And I do have it on right now, and it looks perfect. It looks good. Okay, that's all that matters. So the NC44. Um, I forgot what else I was going to say to you guys. Let me 
catch my breath and then I'll do the ending. Okay, okay. Okay, so that was everything that I have from MAC to show you guys for now. Because I'm sure I'll be back in there. I will list everything that I talked about in the video below. It might not. Yeah, but that's it. So thanks for watching and I will be back with another video for you guys next week. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but if you have anything that you want me re uh, to record, um, go ahead and leave it below in the comments and I will be talking to you guys soon. Okay, bye.